Today, I'm excited to share with you the top five ways to overcome obstacles and achieve success. In life, we often hold ourselves back from reaching our full potential due to self-doubt, fear, and limiting beliefs. But the good news is that we have the power to change this. In today's message, I want to encourage you to take a step back and reflect on your actions and thoughts. Are they helping or hindering your success? Remember, you are not alone in this struggle. Many people, including myself, have faced similar challenges on our journey towards success. The key is to recognize and overcome these obstacles. The fifth way to get out of your own way and achieve success is to embrace failure and learn from it. Failure is not something to be feared, it is a necessary part of the journey towards success. Without failure, there can be no success. Failure is not the opposite of success, it is a part of it. The sooner we understand this, the sooner we can use failure to our advantage. Let me share with you a story from my own life. When I was 25 years old, I was working as a stock clerk at a department store. I was barely making enough to get by and I was feeling lost and unfulfilled. But then I met a man who introduced me to the world of personal development. He gave me a book to read, and that book changed my life. I became obsessed with personal development and started attending seminars and workshops. I even started my own small business selling motivational tapes, and for a while, I was successful. But then I made a mistake. I invested all my money in a business venture that failed miserably. I lost everything I had worked so hard for. At that moment, I felt like a complete failure. I was embarrassed and ashamed. But then I remembered something that my mentor told me. He said, failure is not a person, it's an event. It's not permanent, it's temporary. You may have failed, but you are not a failure. Those words stuck with me, and I realized that I had a choice. I could either let this failure define me and give up on my dreams, or I could learn from it and use it to propel me forward. And that's exactly what I did. I learned valuable lessons from that failure. I learned the importance of due diligence, of not putting all my eggs in one basket, and most importantly, I learned that failure is not the end, but rather a stepping stone towards success. And that's exactly what happened. I picked myself up, dusted myself off, and started all over again. And this time, armed with the lessons from my failure, I achieved even greater success. I became a millionaire by the age of 31, and I have been able to impact millions of lives through my teachings. Now, I share this story with you not to brag, but to show you that failure is not something to be feared. It is a necessary part of the journey towards success. The sooner we embrace it, the sooner we can learn from it and use it to our advantage. Failure is not a setback. It's a setup for a comeback. It's an opportunity for us to grow, to learn, and to become better versions of ourselves. And the only way to truly fail is to give up and not learn from our mistakes. So, my friends, I encourage you to embrace failure. Don't let it discourage you or define you. Instead, use it as a tool to propel you towards success. Remember, it's not about how many times you fall, but how many times you get back up and keep going. Now, you may be wondering, how do we learn from failure? Well, here are a few steps that I have found to be helpful. First, take responsibility. It's easy to blame others or external circumstances for our failures, but the truth is, we are the ones in control of our lives. By taking responsibility, we can learn from our mistakes and make better choices in the future. Second, reflect on what went wrong. Take a step back and analyze the situation. What could you have done differently? What lessons can you take away from this experience? Reflection is key to learning from failure. Third, don't dwell on the past. It's important to learn from our failures, but it's equally important to not dwell on them. Accept what happened, learn from it, and move on. Don't let it hold you back from future successes. And finally, use failure as motivation. Let it fuel you to work harder, to be more determined, and to never give up on your dreams. Remember, every successful person has faced failure at some point in their journey. It's how we handle it that sets us apart. Now, let's move on to number four. The fourth way to get out of your own way and achieve success is by surrounding yourself with positive influences. Success is not achieved in isolation. It is a result of the people we surround ourselves with, the books we read, and the information we consume. As the saying goes, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. 
So, if you want to achieve success, you must surround yourself with positive influences. But what exactly do I mean by positive influences? Let me break it down for you. First and foremost, positive influences are people who uplift and inspire you. These are the individuals who believe in you, support you, and push you to be your best self. They are the ones who see your potential and encourage you to reach for it. They are not afraid to give you constructive criticism, but they do it with love and kindness. These people are like a breath of fresh air in a world filled with negativity. They remind you that anything is possible and that you are capable of achieving greatness. On the other hand, negative influences are like a dark cloud that follows you everywhere you go. They are the naysayers, the doubters, and the dream killers. They are the ones who tell you that you're not good enough, that your dreams are unrealistic, and that you should settle for mediocrity. These people drain your energy and bring you down. They make you doubt yourself and your abilities. And worst of all, they hold you back from reaching your full potential. Now, I'm not saying that you should cut off all the negative influences in your life. That would be impossible. But what you can do is limit your exposure to them and instead surround yourself with positive influences. So, who are these positive influences? They can be anyone, your family, friends, mentors, colleagues, or even strangers. What's important is that they have a positive impact on your life. They are the ones who believe in you, encourage you, and inspire you to be your best self. But it's not just about the people you surround yourself with, it's also about the information you consume. In today's digital age, we are bombarded with all kinds of information, some positive, some negative. It's up to us to filter out the negative and focus on the positive. One of the best ways to do this is by reading books. As Charlie, Tremendous, Jones said, you will be the same person in five years as you are today except for the people you meet and the books you read. Books have the power to change our perspective, open our minds, and inspire us to take action. They are a source of knowledge, wisdom, and motivation. So, make it a habit to read books that will uplift and inspire you. Another way to surround yourself with positive influences is by attending seminars, workshops, and conferences. These events bring together like-minded individuals who are all striving for personal growth and success. They provide a platform for you to learn from experts, network with others, and gain new insights and perspectives. So, make it a point to attend these events and surround yourself with people who are on the same journey as you. You can also surround yourself with positive influences by joining a mastermind group. This is a group of individuals who meet regularly to support and encourage each other's personal and professional growth. They share their knowledge, experiences, and resources to help each other achieve their goals. Being a part of a mastermind group can be a game changer in your journey towards success. I want to talk about the power of visualization. Surrounding yourself with positive influences also means surrounding yourself with positive thoughts. Visualization is a powerful tool that can help you achieve your goals. By visualizing yourself as successful, you are programming your mind to believe that you are capable of achieving anything you set your mind to. So, surround yourself with positive thoughts and affirmations. Write them down, say them out loud, and believe in them. Now, on to number three. Before we dive into number three, I want to start off by asking you a question. What is the one thing that is holding you back from achieving the success that you desire? Think about it for a moment. Is it fear, doubt, lack of resources? While these are all valid reasons, I believe that the biggest obstacle standing in the way of our success is ourselves. Yes, you heard me right. We are often our own worst enemy when it comes to achieving our goals and reaching our full potential. We let our own thoughts and insecurities hold us back from taking action and going after what we truly want in life. But I'm here to tell you that it is time to get out of your own way and take action towards your dreams. So, what is the number three way to get out of your own way and achieve success? It is simple. Take action. Action is the key ingredient to success. Without it, all of our dreams and goals will remain just that, dreams. We can have all the knowledge, skills, and resources in the world, but if we do not take action, we will never see any results. I know that taking action can be scary. It requires us to step out of our comfort zones and face our fears. But let me tell you, the rewards of taking action far outweigh the temporary discomfort that we may feel. 
When we take action, we are telling the universe that we are serious about our goals and that we are ready to make them a reality. Now, I am not saying that taking action means jumping into things blindly. No, it is important to have a plan and to do your research. But do not get stuck in the planning phase. Many of us fall into the trap of overthinking and overanalyzing, which leads to inaction. We convince ourselves that we are not ready or that we need more time when, in reality, we are just afraid to take that first step. But let me ask you this. What is the worst that could happen if you take action towards your goals? You may fail, yes, that is a possibility. But let me tell you, failure is not the end. It is simply a learning experience. Failure is what leads to growth and, ultimately, success. So, do not let the fear of failure hold you back from taking action. Another reason why we may struggle to take action is because we are waiting for the perfect moment. We tell ourselves that we will start working towards our goals when the timing is right. But let me tell you, there will never be a perfect moment. Life is unpredictable, and there will always be obstacles and challenges along the way. So, do not wait for the perfect moment, create it. Take action now and adjust along the way. I also want to address the issue of procrastination. We have all been guilty of it at some point in our lives. We put off taking action because we convince ourselves that we have plenty of time. But time is our most valuable asset, and we cannot afford to waste it. We must realize that every day we delay taking action, we are delaying our success. So, do not let procrastination be the reason why you do not achieve your dreams. Take action now and make the most of your time. You may be thinking, but Jim, I do not know where to start. My answer to that is simple, just start. Take that first step, no matter how small it may seem. The important thing is that you are moving forward. As you continue to take action, you will gain momentum, and before you know it, you will be well on your way towards achieving your goals. I also want to remind you that taking action does not mean that you have to do everything on your own. It is important to surround yourself with a supportive network of individuals who can help you along your journey. Seek out mentors, coaches, and like-minded individuals who can offer guidance and support. Remember, success is not a solo journey. It takes a team effort. And now, on to number two. The second way to get out of your own way and achieve success is to believe in yourself. Believing in yourself is not just a catchy phrase or a feel-good mantra. It is the foundation of success. It is the key to unlocking your full potential and achieving your dreams. Yet, so many of us struggle with this simple concept. We doubt ourselves, we second-guess our abilities, and we let fear hold us back. But I am here to tell you that you are capable, you are worthy, and you have what it takes to succeed. All you have to do is believe in yourself. You see, success is not just about talent or intelligence. It is about mindset. It is about having the confidence and self-belief to take action and make things happen. As Henry Ford once said, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. Your thoughts and beliefs have a powerful impact on your actions and ultimately your results. So, how can you start believing in yourself? The first step is to understand that you are unique and have something special to offer the world. Each and every one of us has our own set of talents, skills, and experiences that make us who we are. Embrace your individuality and recognize that you have something valuable to contribute. Next, it is important to let go of self-doubt and negative self-talk. We are often our own worst critics, constantly questioning our abilities and putting ourselves down. But this kind of thinking will only hold you back. Instead, focus on your strengths and achievements. Celebrate your successes, no matter how small, and use them as fuel to keep moving forward. Another key aspect of believing in yourself is to surround yourself with positivity. This includes the people you spend time with, the books you read, and the thoughts you allow into your mind. Choose to be around people who uplift and support you, and stay away from those who bring you down. Read books and listen to podcasts that inspire and motivate you. And most importantly, be mindful of your thoughts and replace any negative ones with positive affirmations. Visualization is also a powerful tool in building self-belief. Take some time each day to visualize yourself achieving your goals and living your dream life. See yourself as confident, successful, and capable. This will not only boost your self-esteem, but it will also help you stay focused and motivated. 
But perhaps the most important aspect of believing in yourself is to take action. You can have all the confidence and self-belief in the world, but if you don't take action, nothing will change. You have to be willing to step out of your comfort zone and take risks. As the saying goes, fortune favors the bold. Believe in yourself enough to take that leap of faith and pursue your dreams. Now, I know that believing in yourself is not always easy. We all face challenges and setbacks that can shake our confidence. But it is during these times that it is most important to have faith in yourself. Remember, failure is not the opposite of success. It is a part of the journey. Use your failures as learning experiences and keep moving forward. As we continue our journey of personal development, I want you to make a commitment to yourself today. A commitment to believe in yourself and your abilities. A commitment to take action and pursue your dreams. A commitment to surround yourself with positivity and let go of self-doubt. And a commitment to never give up, no matter how many times you may stumble. Believe in yourself, my friends. Believe that you have what it takes to achieve greatness. Believe that you are worthy and deserving of success. And most importantly, believe that you are capable of getting out of your own way and achieving your wildest dreams. And lastly, the one we've been waiting for, number one. So, why do we set goals and yet fail to achieve them? The answer is simple. We get in our own way. We are our own worst enemies when it comes to success. We doubt ourselves, we procrastinate, we make excuses, and we let fear hold us back. But what if I told you that there is a way to overcome all of these obstacles and achieve success? Yes, it's possible, and it all starts with number one, which is setting clear goals and creating a plan. Let me share with you a personal story. When I was in my 20s, I was broke, had no job, and was struggling to make ends meet. I was going nowhere in life, and I felt stuck. But then I attended a seminar where the speaker talked about the power of goal setting. It was a light bulb moment for me. I realized that I needed to set clear goals and create a plan if I wanted to change my life. So, I went home and wrote down my goals. I wrote down what I wanted to achieve in my personal life, my career, and my finances. And then I created a plan to achieve those goals. I started taking action, and within a year, my life had completely transformed. I had a successful career, financial stability, and a sense of purpose. All because I set clear goals and created a plan. Now, I know what some of you might be thinking. But Jim, I have set goals before and I still haven't achieved them. Well, let me tell you this. Setting goals is not enough. You need to have a plan in place to achieve those goals. You can't just wish for something to happen, you have to make it happen. Let me break it down for you. Setting clear goals is like having a destination in mind. You know where you want to go, but you need a map to get there. And that's where creating a plan comes in. Your plan is like a map that will guide you towards your goals. It will help you stay on track and overcome any obstacles that come your way. But here's the thing, your plan doesn't have to be perfect. In fact, it probably won't be. But that's okay, as long as you have a plan, you can always make adjustments along the way. The important thing is that you take action and keep moving forward towards your goals. Now that you have set clear goals, it's time to create a plan. Your plan should be specific to your goals. It should outline the steps you need to take to achieve your goals. It should also include a timeline, resources you need, and potential obstacles you might face. But here's the most crucial part. You need to take action. Your plan will not work if you don't take action. Remember, a plan is useless without action. So, get out there and start taking small, consistent steps towards your goals. I want to leave you with this quote by Zig Ziglar. You don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great. Don't wait for the perfect moment to start working towards your goals. The perfect moment is now. Start taking action, and you will see progress. Thank you. As someone who has spent decades studying success and personal development, I've come to understand that one of the biggest obstacles standing in the way of our dreams is ourselves. Yes, you heard that right. We are often our own worst enemy when it comes to achieving our goals and living the life we truly desire. But don't worry, you are not alone in this struggle. In fact, it is a common challenge that many of us face. The good news is there are ways to overcome this and get out of our own way. 
In today's message, I will be sharing five powerful strategies that can help you break free from self-sabotage and start making progress towards your dreams. So if you're tired of feeling stuck and ready to take control of your life, then this video is for you. By the end of it, you will have a clear understanding of what you need to do to turn things around and start living the life you truly deserve. So without further ado, let's dive into the five ways to get out of your own way and achieve your dreams, starting with number five. The fifth way to get out of your own way and achieve your dreams is to practice self-care and self-compassion. We live in a society that glorifies the hustle and grind. We are constantly bombarded with messages that tell us to work harder, push ourselves to the limit, and never take a break. And while hard work and determination are important, we often forget the importance of taking care of ourselves. Self-care and self-compassion are not selfish acts. They are essential for our well-being and success. As the saying goes, you cannot pour from an empty cup. If you are not taking care of yourself, how can you expect to give your best to your dreams and goals? So, what exactly is self-care? It is simply taking the time to prioritize your physical, mental, and emotional health. It means listening to your body and giving it what it needs, whether that be rest, exercise, or a healthy meal. It means taking breaks when you need them and not feeling guilty about it. It means setting boundaries and saying no when necessary. It means treating yourself with kindness and compassion. Now, some of you may be thinking, but Jim, I don't have time for self-care. I have too much to do in too little time. And to that, I say, if you don't have time for self-care, then you are doing something wrong. Self-care is not a luxury, it is a necessity. And when you prioritize it, you will find that you have more energy, focus, and productivity to tackle your goals. But self-care is not just about taking care of your physical needs. It is also about taking care of your mental and emotional well-being. We live in a fast-paced world where stress and anxiety are at an all-time high. And if we don't take care of our mental and emotional health, it can hold us back from achieving our dreams. So, how do we practice self-care in this aspect? The first step is to be aware of your thoughts and emotions. When you are feeling overwhelmed or stressed, take a step back and assess the situation. Is there something you can do to alleviate the stress? Can you delegate tasks or ask for help? Or do you simply need to take a break and do something that brings you joy? Another important aspect of self-care is self-compassion. We are often our own worst critic, constantly beating ourselves up for our mistakes and shortcomings. But self-compassion means treating yourself with the same kindness and understanding that you would show to a friend. It means acknowledging that you are human and that it is okay to make mistakes. It means forgiving yourself and moving on. Now, some of you may be thinking, but Jim, I have big dreams and goals, and I can't afford to take a break or be kind to myself. I need to be tough and push myself to the limit. And to that, I say, it is time to change your mindset. Self-care and self-compassion are not signs of weakness, they are signs of strength. It takes courage to prioritize your well-being and to show yourself kindness and understanding. Think about it, when you are physically exhausted and mentally drained, how can you expect to give your best to your dreams and goals? How can you expect to have the energy and drive to pursue them with passion and determination? It is only when you take care of yourself that you can truly show up as your best self and achieve your full potential. Moving on to number four. The fourth way to get out of your own way and achieve your dreams is to surround yourself with positivity. We live in a world where negativity surrounds us. We turn on the news, and we are bombarded with stories of violence, tragedy, and despair. We scroll through social media, and we see people comparing themselves to others, feeling inadequate and unworthy. We have people in our lives who bring us down with their constant complaints and pessimistic outlook. And worst of all, we have our own inner voice, the voice of doubt and fear that tells us we are not good enough, smart enough, or capable enough to achieve our dreams. But I am here to tell you that you have the power to change that. You have the power to surround yourself with positivity. And in doing so, you will pave the way for your own success and happiness. So, how do we do this? How do we surround ourselves with positivity in a world that seems to thrive on negativity? The first step is to take control of your environment. This means being intentional about who and what you allow into your life. 
It means cutting out toxic relationships and limiting your exposure to negative news and media. It means creating a space that is conducive to positivity, whether it be your home, your workplace, or your social circle. The second step is to cultivate a positive mindset. This is not something that happens overnight, but rather a daily practice. It starts with being aware of your thoughts and consciously choosing to replace negative thoughts with positive ones. It means focusing on gratitude and finding the good in every situation. It means surrounding yourself with positive affirmations and reading books and listening to podcasts that inspire and uplift you. The third step is to seek out positive people. They say that you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with, and this could not be more true. Surround yourself with people who support and encourage you, who believe in your dreams and push you to be your best self. These are the people who will lift you up when you are feeling down, who will celebrate your successes with you, and who will remind you of your worth and potential when you forget. But perhaps the most important step of all is to become a positive person yourself. As Mahatma Gandhi once said, be the change you wish to see in the world. If you want to surround yourself with positivity, you must first embody it. This means being kind, compassionate, and uplifting to those around you. It means being a source of light and positivity in a world that can sometimes feel dark and hopeless. Now, I know what some of you may be thinking. This all sounds great in theory, but how do we actually put this into practice? How do we find the strength and motivation to surround ourselves with positivity when negativity seems to be the norm? Well, my friends, it all starts with a choice. A choice to take control of your life and your thoughts. A choice to seek out positivity and reject negativity. A choice to believe in yourself and your dreams no matter what anyone else says. And most importantly, a choice to take action and make changes in your life that will lead you towards a more positive and fulfilling existence. I'm not saying that this will be easy. In fact, it may be one of the hardest things you ever do. But I can guarantee you that it will be worth it. When you surround yourself with positivity, you will see your dreams and goals become more attainable. You will find yourself feeling more motivated, inspired, and confident. And you will attract more positivity and abundance into your life. My challenge to you is this. Take a good look at your life and ask yourself, am I surrounding myself with positivity? If the answer is no, then it is time to make a change. It is time to take control of your environment, cultivate a positive mindset, seek out positive people, and become a positive person yourself. Now, to number three. The third way to get out of your own way and achieve your dreams is to take action and be consistent. Now, I know this may seem like a simple concept, but let me tell you, it is one of the most powerful tools you have in your arsenal. You see, dreams are not achieved by sitting around and waiting for them to come true. They require action, they require effort, and most importantly, they require consistency. One of the biggest mistakes people make is waiting for the perfect moment to take action. They say things like, I'll start tomorrow, or I'll wait until I have more time. But the truth is, there is never a perfect moment. The time will never be just right. You have to create the perfect moment by taking action. Now, as the saying goes, the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The second best time is now. The what does taking action look like? It means setting clear and specific goals for yourself and then taking the necessary steps to achieve them. It means getting out of your comfort zone and doing things that may scare you. It means being willing to fail and learn from your mistakes. It means being proactive and not waiting for opportunities to come to you, but rather creating your own opportunities. But taking action is not enough. You must also be consistent. Consistency is the key to success. It is the glue that holds everything together. You can take all the action in the world, but if you are not consistent, you will not see the results you desire. Consistency means showing up every day and putting in the work, even when you don't feel like it. It means making sacrifices and staying committed to your goals, even when it gets tough. Let me give you an example. Imagine you want to lose weight and get in shape. You start off strong, going to the gym every day and eating healthy. But then, after a few weeks, you start to lose motivation. You skip a day at the gym, then another, and before you know it, you're back to your old habits. This is where consistency comes in. If you had stayed consistent and continued to put in the work, you would have seen the results you desired. 
but because you lacked consistency, you fell back into your old patterns. Consistency is not always easy, but it is necessary for success. And the good news is, it is a habit that can be developed, just like going to the gym and working out your muscles. You must also work out your consistency muscles. Start small, set achievable goals for yourself, and stick to them. As you build consistency, you will see that it becomes easier and easier to stay on track and achieve your dreams. Now, I know that taking action and being consistent can be challenging. We live in a world where instant gratification is the norm. We want results, and we want them now. But let me tell you, success is not a sprint, it is a marathon. It requires patience, determination, and most importantly, consistency. So, how do you stay consistent? The first step is to have a strong why. Your why is your motivation, your reason for wanting to achieve your dreams. It is what will keep you going when things get tough. So take the time to identify your why, write it down, put it somewhere you can see it every day, and let it be your driving force. The second step is to have a plan. As the saying goes, failing to plan is planning to fail. You must have a clear and specific plan for how you will achieve your goals. Break your goals down into smaller manageable steps and create a timeline for when you want to achieve each step. This will help you stay on track and make progress towards your dreams. The third step is to surround yourself with the right people. You become the average of the five people you spend the most time with. So surround yourself with people who support and encourage your dreams, who inspire you to be better, and who hold you accountable. These people will help you stay consistent and on track towards achieving your dreams. And finally, the fourth step is to believe in yourself. You are capable of achieving anything you set your mind to. Believe in your abilities, trust in the process, and have faith that you will achieve your dreams. As Henry Ford once said, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. Now, to number two. The number two way to get out of your own way and achieve your dreams is by setting clear and achievable goals. Now, I know what some of you may be thinking. Goals, that's it. That's the big secret to success. But let me tell you, my friends, setting clear and achievable goals is not just some simple task. It is a powerful tool that can transform your life and lead you to the path of success. But before we dive into the power of goal setting, let me ask you a question. How many of you have dreams? Dreams that you have been holding on to for years, maybe even decades. Dreams of becoming successful, of living a fulfilling life, of making a difference in this world. I'm sure most of you have your hands raised right now. But here's the thing, my friends. Dreams are just dreams until you turn them into goals. Goals are what give your dreams direction and purpose. They are the stepping stones that will lead you to your ultimate destination. Now, I know some of you may have tried setting goals in the past, and maybe you didn't achieve them, and that's okay. We all have experienced setbacks and failures in our journey towards success. But let me tell you, it's not the failure that defines us, it's how we respond to it. You see, setting clear and achievable goals is not just about writing down the list of things you want to accomplish. It's about having a plan, a roadmap, and the determination to see it through. It's about taking action even when things get tough and staying committed to your goals. So, how do we set clear and achievable goals? The first step is to have a clear vision of what you want to achieve. Imagine yourself in the future, living your dream life. What does it look like? How does it feel? The more vivid and detailed your vision is, the more motivated you will be to achieve it. Next, write down your goals, and I mean physically write them down. Studies have shown that people who write down their goals are more likely to achieve them. Writing down your goals also makes them more tangible and real. But here's the key, my friends, your goals must be smart. Specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. Specific, your goals must be clear and well-defined. Instead of saying, I want to be successful, say, I want to start my own business and make a profit of $100,000 in the next two years. Measurable, your goals must have a way to track your progress. This will help you stay motivated and see how far you've come. Achievable, your goals must be realistic and within your reach. Setting unrealistic goals will only lead to disappointment and discouragement. Relevant, your goals must align with your overall vision and values. Ask yourself, is this goal important to me? 
Will it bring me closer to my dream life? Time bound, your goals must have a deadline. This will create a sense of urgency and push you to take action. Now, I want to emphasize the importance of setting achievable goals. Many people make the mistake of setting too big of a goal, and when they fail to achieve it, they give up. But let me tell you, my friends, small goals lead to big successes. Think of it this way, if you want to lose 50 pounds, you don't just wake up one day and expect to lose all the weight. You start by setting a goal to lose 5 pounds in a month, and then another 5 pounds the next month, and so on. And before you know it, you have achieved your ultimate goal. The same goes for any other goal. Start small, and as you achieve each goal, set a new one that will bring you closer to your ultimate dream. This will not only keep you motivated, but it will also build your confidence and belief in yourself. Lastly, my friends, I want to remind you that setting goals is not a one-time thing. It's an ongoing process. As you achieve your goals, set new ones. Keep challenging yourself, keep growing, and keep moving forward. Now, the one you've been waiting for. The number one way to get out of your own way and achieve your dreams. Now I know what you may be thinking. You may be thinking, Jim, there are so many different ways to achieve success. How can you say that there's a number one? Well, my friends, let me tell you. After years of studying successful people and their habits, I have come to the conclusion that the number one way to achieve your dreams is to identify and challenge your limiting beliefs. You see, we all have dreams and aspirations. We all have that burning desire within us to achieve greatness, to leave a mark on this world. But oftentimes, we are the ones standing in our own way. We have these limiting beliefs that hold us back from reaching our full potential. These beliefs may have been ingrained in us since childhood, or they may have developed over time through our experiences and interactions with others. But regardless of where they come from, these limiting beliefs are like chains that keep us from soaring to new heights. So, what are these limiting beliefs? Well, they can take many forms. They can be thoughts like, I'm not smart enough, or I'm not talented enough, or I'm too old, or I'm too young, or I don't have enough money, or I don't have enough connections. These beliefs may seem harmless, but they are the very things that hold us back from taking action towards our dreams. They are the voices in our heads that tell us we can't, we shouldn't, we won't. But I am here to tell you, my friends, that these beliefs are not facts. They are simply thoughts, and thoughts can be changed. You see, our thoughts create our reality. If we constantly tell ourselves that we are not good enough, then we will never be good enough. But if we challenge those thoughts and replace them with empowering beliefs, then we can achieve anything we set our minds to. Now, I know that identifying and challenging these limiting beliefs is not an easy task. It takes time and effort, but I promise you, it is worth it. So let me share with you a few steps that you can take to identify and challenge your limiting beliefs. The first step is to become aware of your thoughts. Pay attention to the thoughts that come up when you think about your dreams and goals. Are they positive or negative? Are they empowering or limiting? Once you become aware of your thoughts, you can start to question them. Ask yourself, is this thought true? Where did it come from? How is it holding me back? By questioning your thoughts, you can start to see that they are just thoughts, and they do not have to control your actions. The next step is to replace those limiting beliefs with empowering beliefs. For example, if you have a belief that you are not smart enough to achieve your dreams, replace it with, I am capable of learning and growing. If you have a belief that you are too old to start a new career, replace it with, it's never too late to pursue my passions. By consciously choosing empowering beliefs, you are reprogramming your mind to think positively and take action towards your dreams. Another powerful way to challenge your limiting beliefs is to look for evidence that proves them wrong. Instead of focusing on the reasons why you can't achieve your dreams, focus on the reasons why you can. Look for examples of people who have achieved similar goals despite facing similar obstacles. This will help you see that your limiting beliefs are not based on reality, but rather on a limited perspective. Lastly, surround yourself with people who believe in you and your dreams. We are greatly influenced by the people we spend the most time with. If you surround yourself with negative, limiting people, you will start to adopt their beliefs. But if you surround yourself with positive, supportive people, you will start to believe in yourself and your abilities. 
So choose your inner circle wisely. My friends, I want to leave you with this message. Your dreams are possible. You have the power within you to achieve greatness. But in order to do so, you must identify and challenge your limiting belief. Remember, thoughts are just thoughts, and they can be changed. So choose empowering beliefs, look for evidence that proves them right, and surround yourself with positive people who believe in you. And in doing so, you will pave the way for your own success.